up your YouTube, search for Stupid Meadows. Watch on your big screen. Or another device if you're at home. Get yourself comfy, this could take a while. What a happy scene. Something new every day for your long term memory. This is so exciting, it is nearly time for a Stupid Assembly. Hello there everyone and welcome to today's curriculum assembly. Let's get started. For each other we, every day we, to improve we, and together we will. And our everyday focuses are, and our Stukely motto is, and our Stukely curriculum is, and last of all those four words. Brilliant. So here we are another week and another curriculum assembly and this week we are not going to be meeting an expert but we are having a kind of a special assembly this week to um, mark and talk about and learn a little bit more about um, an event that um, happens and is happening on Sunday the 27th of March. That means this Sunday yet to come. And it is an important event in the UK calendar. I wonder if anyone can guess what it is. I suspect you've been calling out at the screen. You're right. On Sunday in the United Kingdom, lots and lots of people will be marking and celebrating something known as Mothering Sunday or Mother's Day. Um, for this assembly, we are going to learn a little bit more about Mother's Day. Um, but not so much about what happens here in the United Kingdom, but how Mother's Day looks across the world. Because did you know that it's not only a special day in the UK calendar, it's also a special day in lots of other calendars for lots of other countries across the world, but not at the same time. So we're going to learn a little bit more about what Mother's Day looks like across the world and when it is celebrated. To help us, it would be brilliant if your teachers had their inflatable globes or any other type of globe or maybe just a big world map handy for this assembly because we are going to travel the world to learn about Mother's Day. So make sure you've got that handy. Okay, so we are now ready, hopefully with globes and maps all fresh to hand. So Mothering Sunday, why Mothering Sunday? Well, that's actually something quite unusual to the United Kingdom. And that's because Mothering Sunday is linked to the Christian church and it is linked to the period of time leading up to Easter. And that period is called Lent. Do you remember when we had Pancake Day? Well, that was the start of Lent and Lent um, last from kind of the, the pancake day or the Sh or the Ash Wednesday which follows it all the way through to Easter and that period of Lent is when Mother's Day falls and it actually falls on the fourth Sunday of Lent okay which is actually a 40 day period so it falls on the fourth Sunday and this year that's the 27th of March um, I wonder what happens in your family on Mother's Day. If it's something that you do celebrate, you might not. If it is something that you celebrate, I wonder what special things might happen. By all means, pause me, class teachers, and have that conversation right now. Now, I know in lots of families, Mother's Day is all about um, making a card or perhaps buying a nice card to give to your mum. Uh, Mother's Day is all about flowers or chocolates or maybe a small gift. Hopefully, um, mums might get a rest. If they're the main cooks in the household, they might get a rest from cooking. Perhaps you'll go out for something to eat. Maybe you'll make something special um, to eat as a family. And it's just about spending time together to say thank you to mums for all that they do. And that's something that's true across the world. Most countries in the world want to take time or make time to say thank yous to mums because we realise how important they are. And this is true in every country across the world, pretty much. We're only going to concentrate on a few. 
The first country that we're going to travel to, so globes ready if you've got them, the first country we're going to travel to is Australia. So we're going all the way to the other side of the world, to the Southern Hemisphere, where we can find Australia. Now, Australia celebrate Mother's Day in May. It's actually the second Sunday in May. And it began when a lady called Janet Hayden, who lived in a town in Australia in 1924, was, was recognising that because, sadly, so many um, husbands and fathers were killed during World War I, and this comes at the, kind of at the end of World War I, because so many of them were killed, did not return home after the war, um, Janet decided that it would be a really nice thing to do is to kind of give something to all the mums who lived in her town. So she asked shopkeepers and schools to kind of make gifts and give gifts to all the mums living in their town just to, just by sh to show them that they're appreciated and basically the idea caught on everyone thought well that's such a nice idea we're going to carry on doing that and so that happens now every year the second sunday in may so it's a may celebration are you ready next stop so we're going back around the world this time um, depending on which way you go, maybe around the Pacific, and we find ourselves um, in the continent, the middle space between North American continent and the South American continent, in that middle part, sometimes known as Central America, and we go to Mexico. Now, Mexico is called Dia de la Madre, and I have probably said that completely wrong. My Spanish is not my strong point, everybody. And this is celebrated in Mexico on the 10th of May. Um, and it's one of the most important days of the year for them, a time to say thank you to mums. Um, families sometimes hire music bands to play music for mums. Um, restaurants say it's the busiest day of the year because everybody goes out rather than staying in, um, um, goes out for something nice to eat. It's a family. And um, flower stalls get really, really busy because that's the most popular present to buy a mum on Mother's Day. Travelling again, this time we're going to Thailand. Have you found it yet on that globe? You might need to pause me today to find these places. So we're in Thailand. On Mother's Day in Thailand, it's linked to um, their queen. And it actually falls on the same day as the queen's birthday, um, the 12th of August. Which is a really good time to have a birthday, I might just add. But anyway, back to it. Mother's Day is celebrated um, on the same day as their queen's birthday. It's a national holiday. So it means that children don't have to go to school. It doesn't fall on a Sunday. It always falls on the same date. And children get the day off school. It's a national holiday and people don't have to go to work either. Um, and as part of this celebration, there's often parades and fireworks. So it sounds like a really, really big event. And a traditional gift for children in Thailand to give to their mums on Mother's Day is a jasmine flower, which is a really pretty and really lovely, fragrant smelling flower. So that's what happens in Thailand. Get those globes ready, everybody. We are now going to the continent of Africa and we're going to a place called Ethiopia. I wonder if you know whereabouts in Africa that is. Have you found it yet? Yeah, it's kind of near the top part of Africa, isn't it? So in Ethiopia, Mother's Day is really important and it actually lasts for three days. Now, this sounds like my kind of Mother's Day, three days worth of celebrating. And it's called Antrosht. And again, I may have said that wrongly, but bear with me. So it's actually held at the end of the rainy season. Um, it not only celebrates mums, but it also celebrates the earth itself. Some people do refer to the earth, of course, as Mother Nature. So it's a way of celebrating that and say, being grateful that the rains have come after a long period of dryness. The rains have come and that will help the plants to grow and make sure that everyone has got food to eat. So it's kind of a double celebration. The whole family might prepare a special meal as part of that three day celebration. And they sing songs and generally celebrate special people, including mums. So that's what happens in Ethiopia. Are you keeping up, everyone? It's like a world, world tour, isn't it? Our next stop is still in Africa. I wonder if you can find this one. This one is Malawi. 
Have you found it? Okay, so what happens in Malawi? Well, in Malawi, Mother's Day is celebrated on the 15th of October. It's a national holiday again, everyone. So everyone gets the day off. The reason it's a national holiday is because it's not a kind of a Sunday, it's a fixed date. So whenever that falls on a work day or a school day, people get the day off. Sounds great, doesn't it? Um, the president of Malawi, as part of these Mother's Day um, celebrations, will often make a special speech explaining how important mums are and how people should respect and love their mums. Wow, this sounds really grand, doesn't it? I'm not sure whether in the UK we do quite as much as that, but certainly in Malawi, they like to make sure that mums feel fully appreciated for all they do and respected as well. So there we have it, everyone. Mother's Day around the world. So if it's something that you do celebrate in your family. I hope on Sunday that you take the time to say a really big thank you to your mums for all that they do. Maybe you'll do something special for her because I'm sure she will appreciate it. And maybe you can make sure that she doesn't have to work too hard on that day and that you help out as much as you can, especially you older ones that can do a little bit more. And if that's not something that you do in your family, then I hope you have a really nice day on Sunday, whatever you are doing. So we get to the end of today's curriculum assembly. So we have been all around the world. I wonder if you can pause me now and see if you can remember some of the countries that we visited on your globe through my assembly. Quick pause. Did you get them? Now here is the test everybody, can I remember them? We went to Australia, we went to Mexico, we went to Thailand, we let, went to Ethiopia and we went to Malawi. Did I miss anywhere out? I might have done. Okay, I think I got them all. So there we go, world stop tour right the way through Mother's Day and what that looks like elsewhere. So have a great week everyone. And I hope that everyone's going to remember those four words, always make the magic happen. Don't forget that pads as well. I've not mentioned that today. Also really important. I know year ones are fascinated by the whole idea of door etiquette. And that's something they've really taken to heart. So let's make sure whatever we do this week, we remember our fantastic Stooky Manners and we have a great week. Take care, everyone. See you next time. Massive thanks, Mrs. Stevens. I love something a bit different on a Tuesday. Right, let's have some birthdays. Hey, 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 it's time to say we've got a stupid birthday. Hey, 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 it's time to say we've got a stupid birthday. <laughs> oh, come on! We've got quite a few birthdays today. I love a bumper birthday day. Happy birthday to Jacob in year six. Jacob B in year six, Noah H in year five, Sahana in year two, and Ella Rose in year three. Happy birthday, you four. Have a great day. I'm sure you had some weekend celebrations and you've got time in school with friends as well. Have a good day. Let's finish with everyday knowledge for you. And we are learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, everyday knowledge for you. And we are learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, learning to remember things worth remembering, everyday knowledge for you. Okay, I'm not going to go through all of those items that I keep in my garage. I'm just going to ask you one question. What's the name of my favourite ever garden game? Oh, tough one. Guys, it's Molka. It's a Finnish garden game. It's great. And I don't own the company that sells them, but I wish I did. Because if you don't buy this and have a game over the summer, we need a chat. It's a great game. Anyway, uh, welcome to Everyday Knowledge. Um, I'm going to start off with some times tables. Lots of you will remember I used to do times tables a few months ago and then I stopped. I'm back on it. We're going to go three times table. We're going to go quick. One times three is, two times three is, three times three is, four times three is, five times three is, 
six times three is, seven times three is, eight times three is, nine times three is, 10 times three is, 11 times three is. That was a tough one. Let's go, oh, let's do, a, let's do an easier one. Let's go seven times table. One times seven is, two times seven is, three times seven is, four times seven is, five times seven is, six times seven is, seven times seven is, eight times seven is, nine times seven is, 10 times seven is, 11 times seven is, 12 times seven is. How many days in a year? 365. What do we call a year if there are 366 days? Leap year, that's right. And which month has the extra day? February, that's correct. Oh. One of my faves. Uh, what's the name of the composer? That's right, Antonin Dvorak. I love that guy. And uh, what's the name of this piece of music? New World Symphony. And which famous advert has it appeared on over the years? Hovis, that's right, beautiful. Oh, look at this. That's by a very famous artist. What's his name? Pablo Picasso, and it's called The Weeping What? Woman, The Weeping Woman. Let's finish with a couple of these. Hydrogen. Oxygen. Iron. Nitrogen. See you next time.